Hey folks, just wanted to give you a quick preview of the minimap stuff I've been working on. Uh, so we have here the map object, which basically just says what do we use as the player, which is just a game object that we'll use to track where we are, and also how big is our grid, so what's the smallest size a room can be. So you can have different size rooms, so if your grid size is 1, you could have rooms of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. We then create room, so room is just a game object with this map room script added. And here you can change the size, I'll leave it as it is. You can define points of interest, which are things like doors or keys, so you can either scan for them automatically, which has a very small performance cost, or you can assign them to the room directly. You can link up rooms so when you walk into one, you should automatically show the other. So for example, if you've got a long hallway, you might want to walk into the one room but actually reveal more than one on the map. And then you can set some overrides like what color it appears on the map and the sprite to use. The UI, you basically just set up like a normal UI. So this is all just background images and scrollers and things. Then we go to the map content, which is the new component. Basically, what's the scale of the mini map? Uh, where's our visible content? So this is where new objects will be created. If it's empty, it just creates them as a child of the current object. Do we scroll? Do we auto center? What prefab do we use for rooms? If you leave that blank, it just creates a, a image basically, just a blank image with no sprite. Um, do we want to apply the color overrides from rooms? Do we want to apply the sprite overrides from rooms? And then how do we show points of interest? So in this mini map, we're not showing the point of interest. We go to our maxi map, we're showing the point of interest in their position in the game world. We can also just show them in the center of the room. And you know, what uh, prefab we're going to use for the points of interest and so on. So let's see that in action. We've got the mini map here, we're showing the room name, the image for the room and also a little indicator of where we're at. We drop into the next room, we'll see a new room is exposed. Now this is a very simple scrollable map. We'll see we've got a door object here, so if we pop out the maxi map, which has got colors applied, this one's not finished, but you can see that there's a little lock icon here because the door is a point of interest. We're going to the next room. So this is a larger room. You'll see it's bigger on the grid. Again, on our maxi map, we've got a different point of interest here. So this is the chest point of interest. And uh, that's pretty much it. So there's still a bit to do in terms of cleaning up, building out the examples, maybe making some more complex examples. But it's for the most part ready to go.